So this is a continuation from the previous video on how to teach confidence in a different classroom. In the previous video, I spoke about me, like referring to me on how I struggle with confidence, how I really, really struggle with confidence. And now I've got better and, and I'm sitting right in front of the camera speaking to you guys, speaking to the world, because I'm going to put this on YouTube. If I put it on YouTube, that means the entire world has access to it. How are they going to receive it? I, I, I have no control over it. I have control over on how I'm going to record this and how I'm going to tell my story. And I'm going to tell my story. How people receive it, analyze it, and, 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 and I, I have no control over it. So, how are we going to, how should, what are the tips to teach confidence in a different classroom? Confidence is another thing, guys. And if you teach me, guys, I teach um, in primary school, the grade fours to grade sixes. But I'm qualified to teach up to seven and eight and nine. But I never taught seven, eight, and nine. I always liked the punzu. No, no, the little ones, the bikini. I love the young guys. I love the young guys. I think, I think that's where you get to embrace life. That's where you get to embrace um, 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 like the, when they say it's or oh, what's that way? When they say they they natural, they sweet, they they organic. When you converse with them, they dilute you nothing, they tell you as it is. If they like you, they miss they really like you. If they don't, they miss they really don't like you because of how you did or interacted with them. So how do we do that? Like in a respective classroom, I think the easiest thing, the, the best thing, the first thing that we have to do is acknowledge children and who they are. Acknowledge them. If they're good writers, you acknowledge them and you, and you praise them for that. If they do something good, you praise them like they've done, they've done something beyond this world. I think this is one of the things that Gary speaks about when he says um, when he was young um, and he did well, the mom would like, his mother would praise him like, like ever for just being kind. And, and the other thing that we can do is like to encourage them. Create that scaffolding as teachers. You know what? Um, you, you, you are here with your confidence. I want you to, 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 to just take off. Create that space where, where it's fine, it's right to be, to, be, to, be, to be wrong. Create that space where it's always great to, to learn, to want to try, you know, and, and give a lot of feedback, a lot of feedback, a lot of feedback encourage as much as possible. I know it's not easy for children who have no confidence. Allow them and encourage them to go out there and play for other people. And, and make them watch videos of, of how to, to gain confidence. And tell your story. As a teacher, I think we, we, we underestimating our stories. We underestimating our stories. Like our stories are so much powerful. That when the next person sitting behind the table or just in front of you, when they receive that story, it becomes great. It becomes a beautiful story. I've seen that when I started going around and speaking to the grade 11s and the grade 12s um, about university. And, and immediately when I started telling my story, I became liberated as a teacher. I became liberated as an individual. I gained a lot of confidence. As such, I was liberating other people in the process. People were from the same background as I was, and they started cheering up. They started, the eyes started popping, the smiles. It's like, wow, if this person who's from the same background as I'm from and made it fast far, then it means I can also get them. Create the possibilities. Speak about the possibilities. Speak about your stories. We all have stories. We all have powerful stories to share, and as such, our stories will touch lives. If only your story touches one life, then I think we've done the greatest thing ever. That's the greatest thing ever. So, so there are a whole lot of different ways. I'm going to put a link at the bottom on how to teach confidence in your respective classrooms. So, so as well, guys, if you have any tips on how you go about it, um, uh, please type at the bottom, share with us, and let's, let's learn from each other and, and grow together and educating the nations and educating the children and get the confidence going. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video.